Hello, back with another uh, Randovania Seed. Going to be routing our usual uh, beginner race settings. Main cave start, uh, begin tricks, uh, 10 DNA placed on Metroids. Uh, we will see how this one goes. We're also starting with charge beam this time, which doesn't really impact routing. It could allow us to do um, missile -less Metroids if we felt like it, but we're likely not going to do that. It's going to be slow. We want supers. Otherwise, we're not not going to be prioritizing Metroids. Uh, all right, so let's start her off. We're at our main cave save. And of course, we're going to start by clearing out the surface. Alpha. Let's make our way over and clear this out. Now, this is our first upgrade and realistically, the save's not too far away, so I probably wouldn't just take the warp to start. I would probably lose the five seconds, come back here, save, and then take a warp to start. Bring us back here. Uh, so now we're going to do the usual and go to A1. Now that we're in A1, uh, I always like doing bomb chamber first, because uh, otherwise it's a long trip back. Trip back, uh, and we're gonna find our speed booster. So a speed booster, we can clean up the upper area of um, Golden Temple, which I like. So we're gonna head back up, do some wall jumps. When we're up here. We can charge speed, and uh, on this block, this is how I line it up. You can shoot up, grab this item. Uh, we can charge speed again, and shoot ourselves into the exterior al alpha room, which is going to be our first DNA. Uh, following our normal route, we're gonna skip spider chamber right now, because we'll do the peak later. We're going to hop up and do three orb hallway. So this will get us a couple more expansions and our power bombs. So we do like power bomb launcher early, but it does come with the consequence of having to manage your ammo. So hopefully, maybe if you get lucky and one of these is a power bomb expansion, then that could be good. We're going to head all the way down. We're going to ignore this for now because this is going to be our way out later. We're going to head through, grab uh, whatever expansions you need. You can come through here, grab this if you need, uh, and peek over here. If it's a miner, probably not going to reach back to grab that. It's uh, a little out of the way. With that, we can head down to charge beam. Uh, doesn't look like there's any progression here, so take it if you need it. And now we can do this with our newly acquired power bombs. Grab this check out of the way. And that is main uh, golden temple clear. So we can refill our ammo at this save. And with the equipment we have, we do have, it's gonna be difficult to get um, guardian storage. We could do the quick kill on guardian with you know what yeah what we're gonna do is head into breeding grounds wood if you've got some health let's say we picked up like an e-tank or something and we've got some missiles these are power bombs to get into here clean this guy out grab this guy and we'll get our first hint which is area three uh breeding grounds the North Gamma. Not a bad one. Grab our last Alpha. See that we're not rewarded. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, but we do have that hint. And uh, take that save for a refill. Uh, when we come out of here. We'll charge a spark. And do the quick kill. And. If you're good with a power bomb. You can kind of. 
maybe peek this one. I haven't figured out a good way to do this with just power bombs, so we'll probably see that this is high jump and be able to come back for this later. Or it's our progressive jump. Uh, so with that, we're going to come down through. Remember, these blocks aren't here in our settings. Head down. And this is kind of um, risky because unless you have two power bomb expansions, you or yeah, you need more than two power bombs. So two expansions would would do it. Um, we can come in here and grab this. Else, we're gonna have to come back later for this. And there's no real good way. Actually, there is a good way to grab this now. Um, unfortunately, it requires a little bit of a tight trick if you can uh, if you can charge a spark down here when these bomb blocks are broken you can roll in and uh, on this tile here shine spark right up and that that'll get us our first progressive jump so with that in mind it might be actually possible now to um, you would have to plant the power bomb over here and then I think or sorry. I think you plant the power bomb here and then you jump up after the bomb blocks are broken. It's kind of tight. So, but if you can do that, then you've got space jump, which I think is the play. I'm going to have to practice this to make sure I could do it though. Uh, anyways, so we got space jump and we have uh, our high jump too. So got to remember to mark those. All right, and uh, we should also just say that we have some amount of missiles just to have it up on the tracker. Anyways, so kind of a little bit of a backtrack there, but at this point we can head down. Uh, we can charge a spark across here. If you can maintain it uh, with hitting this block, you can do a wall jump here, then shine spark up and do a wall jump up and that'll get us our wave beam again these are two fairly tricky shine sparks in a row so this is gonna take some practice if we go with this route and it might take some time unfortunately well, i guess never mind <laughs> the shine spark is cool and we'll do it because it it looks neat, uh, but we do have a space jump, so ignore that little uh, side tangent. This is a free wave beam at this point. All right, so with that, we've got a bomb and we've got enough missiles to go through A2. So clear this guy up on the way. We've got space jump, so I would just take that up here over, grab our spider ball. So yeah, if we couldn't reach uh, the second progressive above Guardian Storage with Spider Ball, I would definitely head back at this point to grab that uh, space jump if we didn't grab it already. Uh, from here, we can take the save. And if we've got enough power bombs, we can head and check uh, Arachnus. That's a quick one. And then we're going to head over to this exterior exterior alpha get nothing on him drop down and we're pretty much gonna be fully cleaning a2 again i like to come around this way and drop down first because uh, that lets you do a visual check of this which we're probably not gonna get unless it's like an e-tank or something and we're still light uh, we can use our power bombs to get through here grab this navigate back uh, lots of enemies around here to drop power bombs, so you should be good as long as you can farm in this little area. Uh, we're going to drop down and we're going to go all the way to the end first. Check this. Uh, you can risk the power bomb if you can need this item, or if it's another power bomb, then that's great. Um, I like coming all the way down first because if you see that this isn't anything, you don't have to do this long tunnel. So that just saves a few seconds, because if it ends up being a missile and you don't want it, then you have to go there all the way back. It's, it's out of the way. 
So then we're going to take, and because we uh, we came over here, where when we were in this room, we we're actually going to peek over here, and we can see that our one of our progressive suits is here. So we're going to drop down, pick this item up if you want, and grab this. We've got space and power bombs. We can grab our progressive suit. So that we have Varia. We've got some tankiness now. I assume we're probably got an E tank or two. Uh, with this, I would probably like to head into uh, Breeding Grounds 2. So we don't have screw attack yet, so we can't take the pipe shortcut, so we gotta go up and around. Which is a little bit of annoying, but that's fine. So this time. Uh, we're not going to do any of this bottom stuff yet because hopefully we find screw attack in the next little bit. Head down. We're going to do our alpha cleanup. Grab down here. We've got power bombs to check this. Grab our next hint. A1 exterior alpha. So we already got that one. So that's... Kind of crappy. We'd like to, to know different hints. Uh, go clean up this alpha, head back, grab the gamma, and that lets us ex escape out the top after we kill this alpha. Do our normal charge the shine spark here. Up. We've got power bombs, so this is our screw attack, and this is, this is why we came here. First was just in case that popped up. So now we can run all the way down, out, and back at our save station. So from here, this is a perfect time to go get Ice Beam uh, Hint. So we're going to grab this along the way. Head in to A6. Or, um, not A6, Labs. Uh, head up, and our Ice Beam Hint will be here. Which, I unfortunately didn't mark it on the map. Ice Beam is located in the tower. Okay. So, that's not bad. Um, if it's on a Zeta, we could be looking for a little while, so hopefully we find supers before we start looking for Ice Beam. It's also pretty early on, and I don't want to be guessing where Metroids are, so we're actually going to take... I think we're going to take the save here and head all the way down and grab our hint over here in the nest. It's out of the way, but now we know that A2 inner alpha nest is a DNA, which is kind of unfortunate because we already grabbed that one. Is that one marked on the map? <laughs> or alpha nest north. I misread that hint. <laughs> One second here. Oh, it looks like I marked the uh, south one by accident. So, uh, pretend this DNA was up here. So that means we've got one, another one of our DNA. So pardon my, uh, pardon my drawing here. But anyways, we would have taken the save uh, warp back to start. We're not going to fight any Omegas yet, so we're going to hop in back into the pipe. Come down here, check this item, kill the Alpha, head up, and check Varia. See that it's just an expansion, and we're going to head back down. And now that we've got Screw Attack, we can take... Uh, the pipe into A4. From here, we're going to head out. Free check on the way is Plasma Beam. That's a nice chunk of damage we've got now, as well as making the Queen farming a little bit easier. We've got a check here, and I would probably charge a spark while I was at it and shoot yourself up. All the way up. 
Uh, while I'm here, I usually like to do this gamma, uh, just because you land so close to the entrance. Fortunately, again, it's nothing. So now we can drop down and we can check that this is Spazer. So it is kind of a pain getting through the maze. And another key thing is you'll, you're going to want to have enough um, power bombs to hit this once. You got to hit this guy. And then when you're coming back down, you have to hit this one again. So that's three power bombs you got to have at least. Uh, but we're going to say we have that. And because it's early on, we are going to get a uh, spacer beam. Pop back out. So that'll make our queen fire farm even easier. Uh, the power bombs will allow us to also space jump up here, grab this, and we're gonna grab this hint, which is says A5 interior Zeta, which is a crappy one. We don't like fighting Zetas. And A3 lower factory gamma, probably the worst gamma and worst metro lo DNA location. So kind of crappy, <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, we're gonna drop down, we've got uh, if we've got a power bomb left over, we farmed one. Uh, you can also use wave beam, I guess, to peek this item. So uh, another thing, we've got power bombs. If you have enough, you can come down and grab this. But again, watch that power bomb count because you don't want to get soft lock because we haven't saved in a little while. But once we drop down all the way, we are going to take a save here. So we are safe. Uh, from here, I would like to come down grab this item, run across, and oh yeah, that's right, we, we gotta fill, follow this blue line into the destroyed shaft. So from here, we're gonna head down, we're gonna find our super missiles. Uh, it looks a little weird because I accidentally placed plasma there because again, I made a mistake on the drawing, so <laughs> forgive me. So now we've got, let's see, we've got like four power bombs. You know, we got 60 missiles. We're sitting at like eight supers. We got maybe like 40 tanks. So we are doing good on combat, really. And a lot of beams too. So uh, we're gonna take another one of our um, power bombs because we just restocked. You'll need to use one here. Uh, so that's two. Grab this item, use our newly found supers to cross this one off. Head back in, and then this is a third power bomb for us to escape. Oh yeah, and we used one here. So that's all four of our power bombs. So, like I said, gotta be careful of what we're using. Okay, so with supers in hand, once we take this save, I want to start routing the rest of our hints because if we can knock off some DNA in A4 then we can maybe identify a little bit better what one is going to be our ice beam so we're going to head in to A5 we're going to head down take this pipe over to Alpha Squad and this hint. So A4 Gamma Nest West. That's a decent one. We're going back to A4 anyways. And Breeding Grounds 3 Gamma West. So another easy one. That's actually going to be one of the areas we go next. So Alpha Squad has one of our DNA. That is fine. Uh, we're going to then drop down. Hmm. This would have actually worked better if we would have went, instead of going to Alpha Squad, go grab this DNA first. And then head back. So you would do Alpha Squad after this. And then you can head up and take the save. From the save, we're going to check the uh, dual gammas. I can't remember if we got the hint. I'd have to pull it up real quick. 
no we haven't gotten anything for the dual gammas yet but we're here i want to check them we're unfortunately gonna have to go through this whole um pipe we can also yeah while we're here we've got supers or not supers we got power bombs we got speed booster check this and that's our bombs so that is fantastic love to see it uh that'll also make um if we needed to do bomb strats on the queen then charge and bombs will be good and we can head down this pipe into facility storage we're not going to take the save we are going to kill the two gammas and we're going to honestly at this point i think we might just take the the warp to save and lose our bombs uh, so this is this is a choice. If you feel like you want bombs, or if you don't have that many power bombs, uh, you can either backtrack out, or you could take the warped uh, last save and exit, and both are gonna meet up, you know, here. But after that, we're gonna head up, and we're gonna go into the A3 pipe. Now we're going to do our usual uh, A3 entrance, which will get us the Spacer Beam Room, Shine Spark across. Uh, what we're going to do now is get the outer A3 stuff. Uh, we're going to peek over here. We're really not actually, hmm. So we know, yeah, th thinking about it. Uh, yeah, I think we would actually go out just in case that gamma is DNA. So, um, we can peek our head in here, skip by these items, charge a spark, and get this guy. If it's nothing, we can, uh, if we had have taken the save warp here to pivot save, uh, we can then hop back out. These two checks aren't bad. You could come over here with space jump and check these. Uh, and then save warp again, because we are going to want to go get that lower gamma now. And so we're going to fight this one. We're going to do a quick shine spark, uh, speed boost through here, check this, come back. And shine spark up here, get our second progressive suit. So that is pretty much a full kit. And we're going to really want to... Uh, focus on our remaining DNA now. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to make our way, regular way through A3. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't leave this behind because we're still missing some hints. So we're going to head back down around. Honestly, you could probably look at this, but I wouldn't waste too much time anymore. We're going to head down. We're definitely not going to go to uh, through this room over here uh, to Vanilla Supers. Um, if you kill this Autoed, we can charge a spark here, drop down, and then spark all the way across. We have gravity, so we can literally stay in the lava and shoot straight up with Supers, and that'll get rid of this Gamma. Uh, now, unfortunately, we've got to do our space jump all the way across, back up. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, let me just hit back there. Uh, we're going to go back and take the save. And unfortunately, we're going to probably have to take a save warp here. Hmm. I'm not a huge fan of going all the way back through A3. It is a little bit quicker out. So actually, we might not take the save warp because we want to go to Breeding Grounds 3. So it'll be a little bit of backtracking. But if you can go through these rooms with Speed Booster and like conserve it the whole way, do the Mock Ball here, Shine Spark up. And that may, this may have been better to leave. If we knew we were going to, um, to exit back out A3, it may have been good to do this Shine Spark now and grab this item, head up, and what we do here is come up onto this block. You can charge speed booster, 
and you can um, use space jump and you can actually conserve it down onto here and go through and go through it is a uh, fairly uh, skillful little piece there but it is very fast so that's good and it gets us right to where we want to go so we're gonna hop over here check the item take this refill if you need it we're gonna head down with our supers clean up this guy get a DNA and again I like to route the middle up here grab this DNA head back down because now that we're here if you're running low on supers and you don't want to farm um, you could go back and take a refill but hopefully not and you can just head straight down we're going to kill this guy head over grab our a3 hint which is Alpha Squad, which was already done. And we've got dual alphas, so that's the uh, research site. Uh, we also see that Spring Ball is here. I'm not gonna bother doing this puzzle. It's slow. Um, another decent play actually is if you got this one and here when you, I said you could go to refill, you'd also take it as a pivot save because if there's nothing down the rest of this way, then uh, you could just save warp out which saves you a lot of time but make sure you remember this hint because you'll lose it so yeah uh unfortunately we didn't do that so we will be taking the shortcut out this room and making our way the long way so yeah probably about for 30 seconds or so time loss just doing that but it happens from here grab this item and here's our dilemma of what's faster going around or do you head down <laughs> and go through uh, either way you're gonna end up at this point and if you can charge a spark here you can shine spark across and get our a zero hint main caves we got a bubble layer Omega Southwest so that one's right near the pipe, so not too bad. Uh, we're gonna go in, grab this item, and Alpha Squad, or not Alpha Squad, Dual Alphas, reach your site, has one of our DNA. Yeah, okay. So from here, now I would like to go for a four, so we're gonna head down. Uh, you can pick any, I don't think there's really anything that's going to be here on the way. We know where pretty much all our majors are. So we make our way into A4. Um, here I would shine spark up. Kill this gamma, because I like to prioritize the gammas because they're fast. And luckily that gets us our ice beam. So that is... Satisfying our hint from earlier. From here, we've got head down. Take the save, probably if it hasn't been a if it's been a while since we saved. Head up. We know this guy's hinted, so that's another gamma out of the way. And another piece of DNA. I'm noticing that we're at eight. So no one is down there. We got this hint for inner alpha north. Yeah. What other one are we missing? So we would have got all the hints at this point. I think I didn't count these two. It's two separate ones. Let me just double check the hints. This happened the the last time we were here. Bubble layer we got, or will get. 
uh, industrial complex breeding grounds. Ah, so that's the issue. Did we get this guy? We did. Yeah. Okay. We got that A1. <laughs> Sorry about this. This keeps happening when I don't write these things down. Alpha squad, research site, Zeta, lower factory. West. Yeah, so I just messed up the count again somewhere along the line. So apologies for that. Probably during the Alpha Squad and Zeta. So that is going to be our second last DNA. We can head back down and through. Wrap around. Go to A2. The A2 pipe will bring us two labs. From labs, we're going to head back down, take this pipe. This time we know we can go around here, grab our last DNA, back into the pipe, around. We're gonna charge speed, boost across, gonna jump over a little bit and shine spark up so we're close enough to reach here. Take our save again. Go through labs. Kill the queen. Through the caverns. Up and over. And time. Okay. So this seed, uh, despite my little counting issues, uh, we got our movement early again. And the route of full clearing... Um, A1 got us our power bombs, so that's have nice and early bombs. Is I'll never complain about that. Um, if we were able to follow our chain of events to get our progressive jumps, uh, we could have also got spider. Like there, all this movement was early. There wouldn't have been any issues. Uh, we never once went through the center of A2, which is funny. Uh, this check is yet again abandoned. That's fine, so late. In A3, we'd ended up doing most of A3, but thankfully, I like leaving uh, this lower gamma, gamma till kind of towards your last, so you can um, ignore a lot of this, because ho hopefully you're not looking for like Ice Beam down here or something, so just not doing Skippy is fast. <laughs> so we try to do that. Uh, we never touched mining facility again. I'd like to see that. Then, I mean, we barely stepped into distribution center. We literally got the two DNA. We did take a slight detour and if we wanted to keep those bombs, yeah, it would have cost us some more time backtracking, but and at that stage, I don't think the bombs were probably worth it. There's, we've got the ability to farm for our ammo. Um, if we didn't have plasma, then maybe I would hold on to um, on the bombs. But anyways, uh, conveniently prioritizing the gammas worked here. Uh, if this hadn't been ice beam, would have dropped down, got this zeta, this inner zeta, grab this DNA grab this Zeta. So there would have been quite a bit of Zeta fighting. Um, we didn't go into A6 at all. Unfortunately that this hint wasn't anything good. Um, what else? Thoth was completely ignored. Yeah, overall I think this routed well. Especially this call here to um, not go, I guess, into towards a Varia chamber first until we did Breeding Grounds 2 because that got us our screw attack, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, if we didn't get screw attack, we would have likely been heading out and on our way to A3, which would have been a totally different um, route at that point. So, yeah, it's cool how these things turn out. I really like doing this. Uh, it's been... I think it's been like a good test to see how my routing plays out and 
just like a way for me to improve as well because especially when people drop comments that can tell me what i did wrong <laughs> from their point of view so um like this whole i i was running underneath first and doing this loop and ignoring letting arachnus stay and this alpha stay but routing over top allows me to get right to where i want to go as well as grab this save so um this is something that I've done the last two seeds, and you can see the first uh, tutorial I went through here. So um, definitely some new options and continuing to learn. But uh, with that, I'll call her here, and we'll see you next mission. Cheers.